everyone welcome to my channel or welcome back today it is Saturday I've just gotten out of the shower I've got my robe on and I am ready to play with my new Jaclyn Hill vault collection it just came in yesterday I came in saw it after school um, and I could not wait to get up this morning and do some pampering and play with this so um, I'm anxious to see the quality of it. I did some swatches last night on the back of my hand, but I know that there's been some mixed reviews about this. So I'm going to just play with it on my eyes. Um, maybe try to use a couple shadows from each palette and let you know what I think and if I got quote unquote a good one or not. I'm going to do my makeup on my eyes first and then I'll go and finish the rest of my face, but I already do have my lids primed with Urban Decay Primer Potion the original and I already have primer on my skin moisturized everything's clean did a mask last night so I am feeling good the palette I think that I am most excited about is the dark magic palette and it looks like this I am really into like grungy eyes um, deep smoky cool tone right everybody's kind of into the warm tone I'm into the cool tone I got my cool tone purple shades in my hair I like greens and purples and browns and silver I love silver with my blue eyes so I am excited to play with this I'm gonna attempt to do a cut crease today as well um, I have pretty small eyelids and I've only ever done that once in my life and I really loved it so I'm excited to play and everything yeah I want to do a quite dramatic look today, so I'm going to make sure I get that angle right by doing some tape. Just kind of rub that on the back of my hand there so it's not too sticky. I went ahead and did my brows off camera. I used the It Cosmetics Brow Power in the Benefit Cabrow. Normally I do that after, that's one of the last things I do, but I just felt like doing that first today. So to start off, I'm going to go in with, again, this is the Dark Magic Palette, and I'm just going to take a large fluffy brush from BH Cosmetics in the Poof shade here just to kind of set down the primer that I've already put on my lid. So that's just a nice skin tone color on me and the rest of the shadows hopefully will blend nicely over top of that. Next I'm going to take an Elizabeth Mott blending brush in the shh shade, but before that I'm going to switch computer chairs because this one is super squeaky and very annoying. My eyes are not hooded but they're close to being hooded, they're kind of more of an almond shape, so a trick that I know to do when doing my crease shade is just to actually keep my eye open and look forward. That way um, I can see what it's going to look like because I don't walk around with my eyes closed all day. I love this brush. I got this in Ipsy. It is so soft. Sometimes I feel like if a brush is too harsh, it's going to age me prematurely. So I'm not having any trouble with the blending of that shade. So, so far so good. That makes me happy. I have a lot of space in between my crease and my brow. So I really, I, I don't have a lot of lid space. So I like to play up the shadows on the upper part to have more opportunities for color. Using that same brush, I want to go in with Potion, this green tone here. This time I just want to bring it a little bit lower, but I still want it to be kind of blown out. So that's why I'm not using a more concentrated brush just yet. Now going in with a smaller brush. This is a number eight BH Cosmetics um, Studio Pro brush. I love this brush. I'm going to go in with the shade Inside Job right there. And I'm going to focus that right in the crease, in the outer corner there. And just use fine circle motions. And then when there's not a lot left, drag it in. Hmm. 
I'm now seeing some acne here. That's gonna be fun when I edit this. I love looking at that. But I also love to do my eyes before my face, so I couldn't cover that up before this video. Ooh, that's nice. But you all know, we are all human and we do not have perfect skin. My skin was actually doing really well. I was, um, I was having really good skin days and then I started the keto diet and my skin started breaking out like crazy. But I've lost like 14 pounds so I'd rather have a couple zits that I can treat and um, be healthy versus have clear skin and be overweight. I read that that is a common side effect of keto diet that some people like it's because the extra cheese that you're eating is just um, making your skin produce more oil which is fun okay so um I kind of want a little bit more of that sh shade to come through so I'm just gonna go and take a We'll take this light um, tapered blending E35 brush from Sigma and just tap a little bit of that and just kind of focus that on the outer edges there. Yeah, that's what I want. Cause I want it to be gradient from dark green to the kind of camo green to the khaki brown. This is just a clean IT Cosmetics brush and I feel like there's some patchiness right here in the corners of each eye so I'm just going to kind of take a clean brush and try to smooth that out. I think it's where maybe when I put my primer on I didn't smooth it out all the way there. So I'll take a little bit of poof and just kind of focus it there. My eyebrows have been growing like crazy lately. Because I've been back to using my rosehip oil on my skin and it really encourages hair growth. Okay, are we ready for the cut crease? No. Let's go ahead and do a brow bone highlight. There's really not a brow bone highlight in this palette so I'm going to go in with another one and I know I said at the beginning of the video I was going to try to use a little bit from each palette but I'm just so in love so far with the dark magic palette that I've kind of got caught up in that. Okay, so um, this is Bling Boss. I'm not seeing a color in there that I like for my brow bone, so we're gonna skip that one. Let's check out Armed and Gorgeous. See if there's a color in here that I might like for my brow bone. This is probably gonna be my second favorite palette. I like the greens and the oranges. So VIP, that's a contender. But last but not least, let's check out the Ring the Alarm palette and see if there's a nice brow bone color in there. No, there is not. So that means I'm gonna go in with the Armed and Gorgeous palette, the VIP shade with my little, tiny little pencil brush there. And a lot of people do not like a metallic brow bone highlight. I am personally someone who does, especially if I have a good eyebrow wax going, which I should probably put some gel in these brows because there's a wild hair there. Okay, going back in with that IT Cosmetics brush, there's probably just a little bit of poof on there. I'm just going to brush it over to kind of give it a blending effect there because I do feel like that VIP shadow was a little bit chunky for the brow bone. All right, my hair's starting to get dry, so I just went ahead and clipped it out of my face. All right, this is the part I'm nervous about, the cut crease going in with some Tarte Shape Tape. Now, I've only done one of these and that was this summer. I honestly do not have a huge lid space whatsoever. So if I remember correctly, what you have to do is put it 
like that on your lid. Ew, got it in my eyelashes. And then look up into wherever it transfers, that's where you spread it out. I'm gonna go ahead and get my cut crease brush that I just got from Sigma before this dries. It looks like this. Hopefully I don't ruin this look because it was going really well. I'm gonna take this Luxie Precision Shader 239 brush and I'm gonna go in with Power Cut. Now I already swatched this last night and I was super excited about it. Um, I'm gonna try it first without putting any setting spray on it and then if I feel like it needs more of a punch, I'll get some setting spray out. Uh, that's not giving a lot of punch. Let me try to scrape off the f layer of this shadow here. Sometimes that helps, but I, ugh, I hate digging into it. Oh, gosh. Is that even better? Let me try my finger. Goes on better with a finger, but I feel like, and I'll kind of pick you up and show you, that it's like accentuating all kinds of texture, which I guess shimmer does. I don't know, let me go in with some setting spray and see if that helps it a little bit. I just got this in the mail. This is the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. Um, these are my first Morphe purchases ever. I've never really purchased anything from them before. So this is kind of a first impression for that as well. So I'm just going to go in with that Power Cut Silver. Spritz it on the brush and see if... Oh, well that seems to kind of help melt it in a little bit. Yeah, I mean that's dang shiny. I just hope I don't look ridiculous with shimmer up on my crease. I'm gonna clean off this brush with my favorite beauty so clean brush wash out and with that same clean brush I want to go in with trickery actually I want to take this at cosmetics brush and buff this right here okay that's better all right now trickery I've decided I want to do a halo eye with trickery. So trickery on the outer corner and the inner corner. Again, hopefully I don't mess this up. Okay, now I'm going to do trickery with a spritz for that outer corner. Yeah, that definitely helps it. And then flipping the other side of the brush over that I didn't use, I'm just going to go back in with a little bit of power cut right there in the center to kind of create a halo. Dark, light, dark. Okay. Um, definitely some fallout. Good thing I didn't do my foundation yet. But you'll have that with a, with a nice shimmer. You'll have that. Okay. Um, I'm going to go back in with the Elizabeth Mott blending brush and I'm going to go into um, Potion, what we used before, and kind of clean up that top edge there. And then just kind of, I've got a towel down here in my lap, just kind of buffing that off a little bit and going in with, oh, you can't see that, going in with shh over top. Do I dare to go in with the precision inside job here again? Let's see. And I'm not going into the crease. I'm going right as the shimmer meets 
the matte shades. Okay, this may be a mistake, but this is just the a clean brush, the one I used with Poof at the very beginning, and I just feel like it just needs to go in and just kind of swirl. I don't know if that's going to muddy it up or not. Mm. What are we thinking so far? I think I like it so far. I think that once I put some eyeliner, I'm not going to do falsies. I cannot be bothered to do that on a Saturday. Or ever, really. I need to do something in the inner corner here. So I'm just going to take... Um, that precision brush again with a little bit of inside job and kind of clean up that space there. Ooh, I don't know if I should have done that. I think it's fine. I think it's fine. I'm going to go back into the Armed and Gorgeous palette with a little bit of VIP on that same little pencil brush. Get that inner corner there. Go ahead. Well, I've not even finished this eye, but I'll go ahead and put it over there while I'm at it. When you do makeup, do you do both eyes at the same time, or just one and then the other? How do you do it? Normally, I do like them both at the same time. You know, like I'll blend this crease, then I'll blend that crease. But for the sake of the cut crease, because the concealer dries so quickly, I had to kind of switch up my game a little bit. So I guess I'm gonna go ahead and finish this other eye off camera, add some eyeliner, mascara, do the rest of my face, and then let you know what I think. Before I go, I just really wanna point out how beautiful I think that the mattes have all blended together on this eye. Like, you can't even see it on this eye now because I've added so much shimmer. If I weren't doing a cut crease today, I would leave it just like this and add things on my actual lid but I just think that is so so pretty and so far I think I have a good palette now I can't speak for the other palettes but this um dark magic palette is great so far all right everyone I am back so I did I still have to finish my eyes but I did finish off the face for foundation I used the physician's formula healthy the healthy foundation yes brightening complex in the shade LC1 um, this is only my second time using it and I like it so far for concealer of course I use the Tarte shape tape for powder I use the beauty bakery flower uh, translucent powder in the shade translucent really like that it smooths everything out for highlight the pure essence nude and be my highlight shade 10 I don't know if they have this shade anymore but it's a good one for lips Too Faced melted chihuahua of course I already told you what's on the brows for contour I did a contour jawline in the nose this is my favorite this is the NYX HD blush in the shade taupe great if you have fair skin because it's nice and cool toned bronzer the butter bronzer in the shade bronzer okay all-time favorite and this blush I have been loving I got it in ipsy it's pixie and it's called beach rose and I have been loving this blush I have so many blushes and I usually put a new one on each day or a different one on each day but I have been using that one non-stop I set my face with this new setting powder. I did the eyeliner before removing the pieces of tape with the new, well this isn't new, this is new to me, Physicians Formula Eye Booster. Uh, this has come recommended by the Taylor here on YouTube. And I don't know if I did a good job with it, but I did wear this for the first time yesterday and it stayed on and I love it and it's just really easy to apply. So now we're gonna finish off the eyes. I have here the Sugar, um, Stroke of Genius Heavy Duty Coal in the shade Green Light. And I normally do not put things on my waterline, but I am today. So, this is kind of hard to do one-handed, but we're going to go in with that. And I'm just going to run it along 
the lower line too and then we'll kind of buff it out with some shadows. I didn't bring it all the way in I just brought it to right where about my pupil is on the lower lash line but I did take it all the way in on the waterline. Now I'm going to take an e.l.f. defining eye brush and I'm going to use um so I can't decide if I want to use Inside Job or Mojo for the outer corner of the lower lash line. Uh, let's use Inside Job. So that's that dark green. Now I've got some pretty long lower lashes. So I can get away with smoking out like a crazy fool on the lower lash line, but if you have thinner lashes, I would just kind of try to keep it more with like a tight brush, kind of like this, nice and thin. Um, this is fluffier, so it's going to blow it out more. Sometimes if you have thinner lashes and you blow it out too much, and you do you, you know, do what you want, but it can look a bit overwhelming and overpowering. Okay, I'm just going to clean off this brush. And then we're going to go in with probably that green, that lighter green that I put on the brow bone there. What's it called? Potion. So now I'm going to take Potion and kind of run that starting from the iris there, the pupil, and running it underneath inside job. And I'm just cleaning that same e.l.f. brush off on my paper or my towel here. And then I'm going to go in with. And we're going to drag that closer into the inner corner. And that's going to be the lowest shadow. And we're going to bring it all the way over here, too. But it's going to be the lowest. Oh, that is smoky. Okay, so I think that's good for the eyes. I'm just going to finish off with some Voluminous uh, L'Oreal Paris Base. It's an eye sh uh, eyelash primer, and then I'm going to go in with the Urban Decay Perversion Mascara. And that is the finished look. So I think that is beautiful. I'm happy I didn't completely mess up the cut crease. And I just think it looks so nice with the rest of my makeup. So that is it for this makeup tutorial using the Morphe by Jaclyn Hill Dark Magic Palette. I am so happy with it. I'm glad I got a good one. Um, I know that there have been mixed reviews, but as far as the this palette in particular goes, I, I mean, I love it. And I'm so happy I didn't mess up the cut crease. Um, I'm also enjoying the setting spray. Like that just really helped melt the powders of the eyeshadows in and just kind of blend it all together and really set the rest of the face too. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you would like to see more tutorials or other content such as this on my channel, be sure to give me a thumbs up, subscribe and hit the bell so you're not missing videos. I am on a roll with my videos now and I am so excited and um, I hope you enjoyed this dark magic palette. Thanks. Come back and see me again soon. Bye.